we are here, especially if we're going to be talking about the three types of uh, wealth chains that are that are, that um, that we that we have, and how you can use your own financial, you start making good financial choices to migrate into um, the beautiful and the most gorgeous AA. What is AA? You can find us right now when we are on when we are in the studio. So today, today is going to be a special day. We're going to be talking about the real important thing about um, getting your financial change right and getting yourself organized and investing like a pro, investing like a winner, investing like a champion. In all that you do. That's what we're about. 92.3 FM. It's a Tuesday morning, and when you hear the sound, you know it's market time. <laughs> so we have our friends uh, from Arc Bridge, yeah, Arc Bridge Integrated Limited here in the studio with us. We have um, Mr. Alex Adifarsi and Mr. Trudy Kalu. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Good morning. Welcome. Good morning. Welcome. Welcome. So tell us about. I know you're you're kind of proficient in uh, financial education. And you're always, you know, deriving pleasure in educating people and bringing them out of their ignorance to learn about how to create more wealth. Yeah. So tell us about your, your company first of yeah. all. Um, the company is um, Agri Integrated Limited and has been involved in um, real estate development for some time. Um, we started doing this educational thing because we realized that people need financial education before they should start investing in real estate. Yeah. Um, because a lot of people jump into real estate without having a clue as to exactly why they are doing real estate. Because mommy said I should buy a property because my fellow brothers are buying properties, colleagues in the office are buying properties. So oh, I decided it's the raining I, thing. so it's the raining thing, I decided to go and buy a property. But at the end of the day, um, we know that property is supposed to actually be a platform for generating wealth. Not just to just live in it. But a lot of people are really making money from that um, from their property investment and all of that. So that's why we decided okay let us try to help people balance that kind of that lifestyle so that they can um, profit from it that's why we're doing the educational thing too because the more educated people that we have in terms of um, their finances yeah. the more free and the more successful people will become when they are doing investment in real estate in real estate so real estate is just an opportunity for people to also become rich not just to, for the rich mm. Mm. Not just for the enough, yeah. just for those who have the money mm. set aside mm -hmm. and they just need to put it somewhere yeah, yeah. It, it, it is a platform and it gives everybody that opportunity for them to be able to make a transition for wherever they are. And then um, I always say this to anybody, wherever you start from is your platform. Mm. So if um, I don't have, like for example, I started real estate with just, with barely, uh, with less than 500,000 naira. Now, um, and I know that everything that I have ever done before I did real estate was unsuccessful. Mm. But when I started real estate, it was as if, you know, when somebody says, uh, you, when you need to pinch yourself to re actually realize that this is actually you um, in, in real life. So for a lot of people, wherever you start from is that platform. So, but you need financial education for you to be able to know where to partake from. You know, like the other time we also talk about the various types of real estate um, investors that we have available. We talk about the hackers, we talk about the people that are owning, the people that are trading. Mm -hmm. So most people are, are traders. They think that they are making money, they are investing in real estate, but they're not going to make money that way. So that's why financial education is very key to um, achieving success in life. Well, would you say that everybody who goes into it will be successful? Or are people cut out for different forms of wealth? And what are they? Uh, depending on the category that you, that you operate. Um, a lot of people are traders in real estate. I buy a property with the hope of selling. Um, where um, I would say, if you don't have enough money, a lot of money, or probably you want to make your money work for you, what you should rather become is that you should become addicted to as buying assets. That is, you should be addicted to how do I make this, as, this um, investment give me money let me, me generating money from cash flow. Yeah. For example, if I buy a plot of land somewhere in town, the land should not just be lazy. The land should be producing income for me. I should think of, okay, what are the ways that I, what are the opportunities that are available that I can use, that can till that land to make that Ubu land work for me. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people are already taking that way. They are just waiting for 10 years time, they should sell. Or they are just waiting for one government that to do infrastructure so that the place, the property we appreciate. And that's why we have a lot of people who buy real estate and they still end up poor. Because at the end of the day, maybe out of maybe frustration, they decide to sell their properties. So um, for anybody who wants to invest in real estate, you should think in terms of what do I need to do now 
that will sustain me even when I want to sell the property in, in the future. So because we need to also think about now, even though we know that we should delay gratification, mm -hmm. also need because our bills are present, they are mm -hmm. not future. Our, our, they, are not going away. they are not going away. They are constant on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. So we need to be able to think in that route for us to be able to enjoy success in real estate. So if I get a property and uh, that property is not yielding me returns, uh, I either fall into <laughs> being an active socialite or a stuff spender. Yes, that's true. Uh, how do you how do you how, like how do you explain that for us? All right. Um, the truth is this: being an uh, an active socialite is more or less like someone who likes to feel along. You know, a lot of Nigerians, the Gershans particularly, like to have this uh, thick life. Mm. You know, perception. They believe. Yes, they say. Uh, uh, you like to live a panache life, it's good. However, if you work and you want to live big, it's good. You see a lot of people, they drive the big cars, they have the big money, but if you tell me, okay, come guy, you have a savings, they tell you you don't have. Do you have an investment that gives you residual income every other day? If you stop going to that one, they will tell you no, and that is the problem. And that is what an active socialite does to you. It, it, they, they like to be in the market, they, they like to be there, they like, you like, they like to be seen big, mm. however, in their own private, they are not actually having the capacity. Unlike the other one that calls himself the, the stop the, spender. Yeah, the stop spender, you mm -hmm. know. They, they are very unique, you know. And I think this is a wonderful time for them. This is the period. December is a very active period for stop spender. They, 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 they spend even before the money comes. You know people like that. Yeah. Before your salary comes, you've already spent the money. So when the salary is paid, you're, you're sad. Yeah. You're used to yeah. sad because you're already paid for someone. <laughs> you know, those are they, you know. They, they, they buy things on emotion. And things they didn't even plan for. They just, oh, I saw this. And later, yeah. after buying, they realize they don't actually need it, you know. And because it does, they didn't even look at how does he add to the bottom line. Mm. Unlike you have the, the active uh, addict mm. who are very critical when they make any decision, whether they are buying Gary, whether they are buying a car, whether they are buying a house. Either ways, they look at it that, okay, what is the pros and the cons? What, is it, what do I stand to gain now? What do I stand to gain tomorrow? What do I stand to gain in the future? They begin to analyze before they take that investment. Yeah. But, but there's, a, there's a gap. I mean, na most Nigerians do not believe that there's a prof there's profit in acquiring assets because mm. they feel like it's one life we have to live here. Yeah. Why do I have to delay my gratification? for when I'm not sure. It is the kind of asset that one buys. Like we talk about real estate, I can buy a plot of land and it's lying down there, it's not making money for me. Mm. Now, it is not the land itself. It is what I intend to do with that land that determines the kind of cash flow that I'm going to enjoy on the property. Yeah. So I can still own, you still find certain people maybe who have properties in VI, but that, those properties re need renovation. They have no tenant, they are vacant property. They're in an exciting location. But people are not just generating money from it. It's not that they don't have assets, but it's what is the value that I'm adding to that property to generate me income. So if I have maybe, let me say, I tell people this, that your salary is, also, is an asset. Why? Because our salary is supposed to be a cash flow seed mm. that we use our salary to invest in properties. Like um, Alex just talked about now. We talked about the three genetics um, wealth, the uh, wealth genotype. We have the AA, we have the SS, and we have the AS. The AA is the asset um, addict. It's addicted to buying assets. Mm. The AS is active socialite. He wants to be in the face. He's like a celebrity. He wants to show he off. Wants to show off. Mm -hmm. He wants to. He looks rich, but he's not rich. He's not. He's doing the things that rich people does, but it's not actually. He may. He has a big car. May have housemates and all of that, but he doesn't have something that. If that work that he does stops, everything stops around him. They also have the also, the other one, which is which is the stuff spender. He spends on stuff. This period is their period, mm. so they are it's looking. They are, yes, so they they want to just they, as the money comes. Like there are, are people that we call spenderholic. They are addicted to spending. So as it's as if their pockets or their wallet is always itching them, or the ATM is always oh, telling them. <laughs> you know, so, so so they are always buying things, but they are not thinking of buying assets. It's not part of their priority. Why these other people, the AS people, the active socialite, they have a disease called responsibility. Mm. I have a responsibility. The I cannot. <laughs> yeah, the responsibilities so are how, real. How, how do they move from where they are mm -hmm. into become yeah into becoming investors? And, and, okay, and let me let me come in from there. I guess it's, you guys are excited <laughs> about this. <laughs> the truth is this: the, yeah. is the funny thing is about the active socialite is that um, they are very peculiar. Mm. Like he said, they have they have this perception. 
that they give the public and you make them feel that they are rich. In actual sense, one thing is to be rich, another thing is to be wealthy. For you to be wealthy, you must be an active at the end, an asset addict. That is wealth for you because that is when you begin to generate and you begin to improve your, your riches, you know. So now, the good thing about that thing is this. If you want to be, you want to migrate from being an AS to an AA, you need to begin to look at that, those assets that you think you have. Like you mentioned, there are some people today that have properties in, on the island here that does not generate money for them. They have it, it's, it's, it's good, it's mm -hmm. for capital gain, but they'll tell you they are okay. They rather leave it empty to when they feel they are broke sometime and they decide to sell. But the truth is this, why is it, why is it there? Why can't it just be making, even though it's 10, 10 Naira? Mm. Over time, you and I know that 10 Naira of 50 years ago is not the same as 10 Naira today. Mm. And it will never be 10 Naira 50 years after. So it means that if I get 10 Naira today and I'm getting it for the next 50 years, it makes more sense to me. Because over time, if I'm no more active, you know, that 10, 10 Naira can actually be the one that can actually sustain me mm. or sustain the asset in question. You know, that is one thing, that's the way to migrate from being an active socialite to being an, an, an asset addict. And that way you, you begin to be able to maximize your strength. They have an asset, however, they might not know how to use it. And that's why this education is important. Okay, so let's talk about the education. We'll come back to ask more questions. Now, are there, is there a platform that you've put together to make sure that more people know about this? Yeah. Um, one thing about what we do is that um, we try to help people, not just only to not just to show people, not just to um, tell people, but we also show them how they can migrate from becoming an active socialite or a stop spender into becoming an asset um, addict. Like we have se several portfolios on ground that yeah. anybody can take up with us. Because one of the major things that you can do is to make is to shift your choices. Your choice is will determine your genetic order as a, as a being. Yeah. So we have several properties. Like for example, you can start earning rental income on a property that is not yours from the next for, for the next ten to fifteen years. We even have it for fifteen years for anybody who wants to um, um, invest, invest with us between now. now and Thursday. There's an opportunity on ground that for the next 15 years you can earn about 30 percent or whatever you invest with us, with us for the next 15 years. Now just imagine that somebody invests about 1.8 million naira for the next 15 years. That will be about 8.1 million naira over that period. Mm. Now um, it's still real estate, but it's the kind of real estate, the kind of real estate that is within the city where there is high level of demand. It is not just maybe in just one bush that they're expecting that the property should appreciate. Mm. Now, we are not just expecting, you are seeing the property. It is practical, it is more tangible, and it is also indestructible. So, that, in that order, anybody who wants to invest with us can partake with us on that platform. How do they do this? How do they get in touch with you? Well, they can get in touch, they can visit our website. Our website is www.middlechase.com. I repeat again, www.middlechase.com. And you can also get in touch on our website, uh, WhatsApp number. Our WhatsApp number is um, 70 355 Take that number okay. very slowly. 070 355 yeah. 4602. That's our WhatsApp number. You can actually put a call to us too on our toll free number. Um, 071000. Zero seven zero 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 two three seven four six four zero seven zero 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 two three seven four six four. That's the token number. You could call us and we will talk. Is that number available to us? Yes, it is. It is. Okay. Yes, it is. You can actually reach us anytime. Anytime. You can visit the website. Like I said, we could get. We could get talking. He said something last week, and he said um, one can actually invest. Somebody will put it in the back of his mind and says, "Oh, do I need to own the property? You don't need to own the property before you start making money from the property." You can That's invest in an existing property. Yes, an investor. How about, how about I don't have enough money to do it myself? Can I come go together with my friend? And That's the good thing about it. Yes, yes, yes. You could bring your friend together if you like. Bring it to us. Do we split the, platform. the returns? Yes. That's the good thing about it. Oh, yes. Okay. You know, you know, Nigerians and our social being, you know, mm. we, we are very skeptical doing things together. However, we are saying with real estate, you can actually do so together mm. and you all make money. You don't have to be the only one. So you call it Middle Chase. That's the website. Yes, What's Middle Chase. Middle Chase. 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 Yeah. One That's word. Yes. One word. Okay. That's gone. Okay. Yes, Middle Chase. Please okay. repeat that number again. Okay. Zero seven zero 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 two three seven four six four. Zero seven zero 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 two three seven four six four is zero seven zero 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 
AFPING. And just that P-I-N-G. Yeah. Amazing. Okay, so in 30 seconds, both of you, what's your advice to those who are planning to invest? Um, anybody who wants to invest in real estate should start taking the opportunity right now because the market is massive. The rental market is, is I don't mean use the word, is crazy because um, I just, we, yesterday, a property that was going for maybe 500,000 naira just went up to about 800,000 naira by, on a yearly basis. It is massive. It's an opportunity for anybody to pick up. Well, the rental market is huge. According to someone, it's over $7 trillion annually in Nigeria alone. And it tells you the opportunity that avails there. The truth is, is, if you start the year with a lot of hope, we can see you can end the year on the right moves. Thank you so very much, uh, Mr. Alex Adifarase and Chuli Kalu. Thanks for having, Thank you very having much. time with us on Breakfast Jam. Good yeah. morning.